Hey guys, it is your girl Raven and today I'm doing a video. What is the difference between gold plated and gold filled jewelry? So again, I'm Raven and I am a celebrity fashion stylist by trade. That is what I do for a living. And last year I really wanted to start investing in my jewelry. So I ended up getting some solid gold pieces that was not as cost effective as I would have liked it to be. So I started looking into alternative to gold plating and found gold filled. So gold plated jewelry is going to be a thin layer of gold. And if it is solid gold, it's gonna be at least 10 carats around a metal base. This is usually about 0.05% or less of the total weight of the jewelry. When it comes to gold filled, gold filled is going to be wrapped or rolled a lot more in gold around that base metal than a gold plated jewelry. So it's going to be, they say 1 20th or 0.05% or more of the total weight of jewelry is going to be gold. When it comes to gold filled versus gold plated, gold filled is gonna have 100 times more gold alloy than gold plated. So when it comes to lasting jewelry, gold filled jewelry is gonna last you about 10 to 30 years, um, depending on how much gold is wrapped around the base and how well you take care of your jewelry. And gold plated can last you up to two years. This again is solid gold plating and not just gold coloring, as we know that can just come right off in about two weeks. And gold plated is definitely going to last longer in cases of scratches or anything like that because once you scratch off that tiny tiny layer of gold the base metal starts to show through when it comes to gold plating and even gold filled you want to make sure you do a few things to have your jewelry last as long as possible you want to make sure that you do not expose it to too much moisture or too much water so excessive sweating being in the shower, washing your hands, all of those things can erode the gold around the base metal. Definitely do not want to sleep in your jewelry as we have oils that come off of our bodies and we're rubbing and removing and we're doing all of those things. So it is recommended that you take off your jewelry before sleeping. Three, you don't want to expose your jewelry to perfumes, excessive oils, and chemicals as it can again erode the gold around the base metal and wear that off a lot quicker and number four is to just store your jewelry away when you're not wearing it so making sure that it's in a nice container whether that's a jewelry box or somewhere where you keep all of your jewelry a tip to kind of delay the process of your gold plated jewelry coming off or tarnishing is to coat it with clear nail polish i have not done this but i have heard of people who've done it and it actually works their jewelry lasts a lot longer than it would have if they didn't so you can coat it with either clear nail polish or a clear spray paint for me i love to just keep my jewelry on in the shower sleeping i wash my hands with my rings on so i made sure to get gold filled jewelry after i saw that my jewelry kept turning and i kept wanting to wear it and or solid gold jewelry. So a lot of the pieces that I wear now are either gold filled or solid gold. Gold filled versus gold plated, gold filled jewelry in my cases and the things that I've seen are going to start around 30, mid 30s up until even mid hundreds. So it's gonna run you from $35 depending on what it is even up to $150, $200 for gold filled jewelry. Gold plated jewelry on the other hand will definitely be a cheaper price point, um, especially if it's not real gold. We've seen pretty much every gold piece of jewelry at H&M is going to be a gold colored jewelry. So fast fashion, you have your price point, $7, $10 and, and things like that. 
as far as solid gold it depends on where you buy it from if it's on sale how much it's going to weigh the carat that it is um is also going to determine what the price point is for my cross my cross was about 75 dollars on sale from jc penny it is solid gold i believe it's a 14 karat gold and i wear it all the time it has not turned there's been nothing wrong with it and i've had it now for about two years um i had a different chain that was about 90 dollars wholesale it did not come with the clasp or the rings to attach the clasp so total with all of that everything being solid gold it ran me about 120. so you can get solid gold pieces for in that price point of a gold filled piece depending on how you shop and where you shop of course i've seen gold solid gold pieces even for the smallest thing ranging from the two to three hundred dollar range just for a pendant so it depends on the retailer and it depends on if you find something on sale which i like to shop or if you find something that you can get wholesale as you can see here see, this is some jewelry that has turned this is some jewelry that has been chemically treated um where i think something spilled on this ring and i have no idea how to get these spots off but that is what happened so you can see where your jewelry starts to turn what color it becomes whether it's the brass or the silver underneath and when chemicals touch your jewelry how that can affect the gold as for me my jewelry majority of my necklaces come from a brand called Layla May. They are black owned and my gun necklace and my queen necklace came from her. I also have another necklace that says melanin if you follow me on the gram, okay? And my big thick chain came from the Melrose Lee trading post in LA. When I was home for the holidays, I bought this. I also believe that it's gold plated. I have it probably had it on for about eight months now and never take it off and it has not turned and my cross has come from jc penny um the chain that my cross is on is from a different brand and i'm actually going to replace it because it's starting to turn my rings are majority is this ring and then these two rings are Layla may mm -hmm. and i love these i wash my hands with them i don't take them off when I wash my hands and I wear them pretty regularly almost every day um, I have on these and they have not turned they have not changed and I've had them or received them at different times for my earrings the two hoops are from Layla May the third earring is from Claire's I just got my third hole and the fourth earring is from the beauty supply so that's basically it guys those are the main differences between gold filled jewelry gold plated jewelry and solid gold jewelry you definitely want to make sure that you're taking into consideration how long you want to keep the pieces depends on how much you want to invest definitely shop around as i was looking for a pendant a couple years ago and the prices were just not there for me and so when i went to jc penny found my cross for 75 I was like I can put money on that so definitely look at your price point shop around because there's so many different sales going on right now especially I'll definitely link the links below to my jewelry so since you guys made it to the end of the video be sure to comment like and subscribe if this video was helpful for you you also may want to watch one of my other videos this one has been picked specifically for you